So today I'm going to be introducing a new feature that we're really excited about called Surf Pool Studio. So I've got a surf net running here to get started. I can just go to this link right here at the top. And here we have Surf Pool Studio. So while Surf Pool does come with a terminal UI that has some information, it can be a little bit limiting. Um, and the thing that we found that users, when they first spin up their surf nets, the first thing they want to do is start looking and seeing the transactions um, that are being sent on their network. You can use an explorer for this. We're not trying to replace anything the explorer is doing, but we found that we can provide a lot of really cool detail on your transactions. And so we wanted a place to do that. And then also this gives you some, some really cool control over um, your network. So for example, here we, we can see the slots and the progress in the current epic. We can also just pause block production or restart it. And then with this button here, we can say, okay, let's time travel to seven days from now or to the next epic or to the next slot. So like what we'll do, um, we'll do five days from now and jump and you'll see that the epic has changed and our, our progress within that epic is different. Um, and then you also have the faucet that's right there integrated um, with surf pool. So um, I can say, yeah, I wanna fund an account with 100 soul and 1000 USDC. And then I can paste in a recipient or I can just click this button here to generate a new wallet or you know I can do this for any number of accounts and then I can just run it. And now I've got a little summary of the airdrops that happened and um, I can download the key pairs for those new accounts. And finally, our transaction inspector is where things really get cool. So if you scroll down here, you can see all of the transactions that have been sent to your network. Um, if we click on one here, we don't just have profiling at the transaction level. We have broken down in your transaction what every single instruction is doing. So you can see here at the top, the, the compute unit profiling, we have broken down for each instruction, uh, how many compute units did it use? Um, what were the account changes? So like this, this is creating a new account. And so this one was the payer and some soul was spent. And we can go through these instructions to see all the differences um, and the compute units used for each one. For example, this one um, is doing a mint um, of a token, uh, SPL token 2022. And so we'll, we see here a diff of the actual data on this account. So we can see what the UI amount was before. So this is the, um, this is the account. And then this is the mint. We'll see that the supply changed when we, um, uh, minted this token. And we can see that this account, um, had its amount change of this token. And we can see these diffs, um, in a parse format or in hex. And this is even cooler when you're working with your own custom programs. If you are deploying your program using SurfPool to your SurfNet, then we have your IDL already registered here. And so whenever you um, call your program, we, we can give you a diff of your custom account data. So my program here that I have deployed, it had um, the name of the program is split token transfer, and it has this custom data type. Um, that is on the account. And so whenever that account is updated or created, we can also do those diffs, not just on things like, um, not just on a, an SPL token account, but also on these, these abstract types that you've created. If it's defined in your IDL and you've re registered your IDL with SurfPool, then we can do these account state diffs for every instruction. Um, and you can see it all right here in SurfPool Studio. And you can see here that every transaction and account has a, a button to, to open in the Explorer. Um, so if you want the inf information that's available in the Explorer, you can go there. You can still see the blocks, um, see specific transactions in the Explorer. Um, the studio's purpose is to provide this extra detail that isn't available in any Explorers. That's only available uh, with SurfPool using SurfPool Studio.